Salu is a collection of eclectic instruments and voices recorded at the Arvo Part Center in Estonia. This project is a collaboration between orchestral tools and some exceptional artists, including the Grammy Award-winning choir Vox Clementis, canal player Annalisa Eller, Norwegian composer and pianist Fettel Nairo, and Estonia's very own percussion wizard Vambola Kriegel. The overall sound was strongly influenced by the spirit of the Arvo Perti Center. The peace and calm of the space informed every note played or sung. Also, for the first time, we constructed the recording sessions in close collaboration with the artists themselves. And using the source recordings, we created a host of sound design patches, perfect for all kinds of underscoring and sensitive composition. This collaborative and experimental approach has pushed this collection beyond even our usual standards, and we're very proud to share these sounds with you. There's a lot of content to unpack here, so let's get started right away. We recorded a string quartet playing all kinds of standard articulations as well as textures. Apart from a legato and sustains set in octaves and the arpeggio performances, they play in unison all of the time. The sound is by default very close and intimate. The stage we used at the Arvo Part Center is medium-sized, but we made sure to capture as little of the room as possible. You get a multi-mic configuration at your disposal as usual, but the focus here is really on the spot microphones. We'll take a look at the mixer later. This collection is supposed to give you the raw, upfront sound of the performances so that you can add effects or reverb to your own taste as required.
This is the whole set of the more or less standard articulations, but everything is focused on a very specific sound and playing style. Those are not your big, lush, romantic cinematic strings. This is a subtle, slightly colder and earthy palette of colors, particularly well suited to underscoring and ambient music in general. Let's get to the textures, starting with arpeggio performances. We have those in major and minor, both with different chord positions or inversions, and you can play them with or without tempo sync. Now, let's get to the real textures. You'll find these kinds of improvised sounds across the whole collection of Salu. They make fantastic starting points for a cue, but can also be used to add detail, like the icing on the cake of your track, or a soft dusting of twinkling frost. For the solo strings, we decided to include viola and cello. Both instruments provide the perfect mood and color we were aiming for in this collection. They feature a similar set of articulations compared to the quartet. Let's start with a viola.
The sound is even more intimate and raw with just a single instrument playing. There's so much detail and life in it. The solo cello performs in the same style and also has that extensive set of articulations. Let's move on to the second folder of Salu. Here we find ensemble and solo voices. The ensembles are split into two instruments, simply because of the sheer amount of articulations. Here the textures and experimental patches are in the special artix instrument, while we kept the syllables, dynamics, and long articulations in the main set.
This ensemble is recorded differently to a regular choir. Every singer has their own mic positioned as closely as possible so that you can hear more detail of the individual voices. This will become even more obvious with the textures now. This is really an extensive set of different colors and performances. You can probably already imagine all kinds of genres and underscoring tasks that will hugely benefit from these sounds. The men utilize the same set of articulations. Well, let's also listen to them.
To enrich the vocal capabilities of Salu even more, we also included two solo voices, a very low and dark alto voice and a solo bass voice. Both work especially well when you use them more as additional layers and colors for your track rather than using them as melodic soloists. They do, however, have some interesting capabilities for carrying a tune as well.
The next Wolder of Salu contains an ensemble of piano, harp, and canal. The canal is a traditional Estonian plucked instrument comparable to a zither or cantele. Our harp player, Liz Vera, brought two different harps to the session. She was quite keen on the idea of playing both at the same time within the ensemble, and she was right. It added something very special to the recordings. We used a high-end Steinway upright for our piano, and our pianist, Fettel Nairo, prepared it in his own style with cloth to bring a new variation of the felt piano sound. Again, we recorded long and short single notes as well as some textures and arpeggios. We also recorded all three instruments individually. For the solo harp, we focused on just one of the instruments, a rare Eastern European harp.
We're especially excited about the sound of the solo piano that we got here. We think it will become a true gem in your arsenal. The percussion folder of Salu is in some ways the most special part of the whole collection. Our percussionist Vambola is well known in Estonia for his experimental approach to percussion, and he brought in his own collection of unique instrument combinations and left field playing techniques. This percussion is not so much about groove and rhythm, but about color. Some of these sounds can really be the single additional detail that elevates a track from the mundane to the extraordinary. So let's start with the tubular bells. Here, we have two similarly, but not exactly, pitched bells playing together, resulting in a beating pitch. You might know this effect from slightly detuned synth oscillators. For the last tubular bells patch, we used a bucket of water to create analog pitch bending, moving the bell in and out of the water to modulate the sound. You'll also hear that we use different mallet types to provide a selection of different timbers. Next up, we have a glockenspiel and set of crotalis playing together. Here, you get a similar effect compared to the tubular bells regarding the modulation of the sustaining notes. We have again mallets with different degrees of hardness. We recorded those two instruments also individually, played with a bow.
For the vibraphone, we recorded some beautiful textures as well as bow strokes. The random vibrato is achieved by playing with the speed of the motor. The chimes are a set of little tube bells arranged in more or less random order for interesting glissando effects when stroking across them. On the Thunder Sheet, Tam Tam, and Wind Gong, we recorded some single hits as well as different effects and rubs. We also perform some of that stuff on an orchestral bass drum. You'll see there are timpani patches in this collection, but don't be misled. Here, the timpani is used solely as a resonator. Vambola put singing bowls and cymbals on the skin of the drum, then played them with mallets and bow. That's all for the natural recorded material of Salu. As with nearly all the Orchestral Tools collection, you get first and foremost the unprocessed material directly from the microphone setup and room that we used for the recordings. There is no EQ, compression, or additional reverb baked into these samples. And as you might expect, you get access to the individual microphones on the sign mixer. Here we have the Spot 1 and main cardioid mics loaded by default, as long as you've downloaded them. We've also got a main Omni set as well as a more distant AB setup, plus a wide surround configuration for your rear speakers. Some instruments also have alternatives for spot microphones or individual spot mics for single instruments within an ensemble. Let's listen to some examples and play around with the mixer so you can hear what the different mics have to offer. As already stated before, our focus here is to provide a very usable close mic sound in the first place. So if you're short on disk space, download just the spot mics first.
That's already a long list of inspiring instruments. Listening to the recordings, we were ourselves inspired and immediately found ourselves thinking about layering and processing the sounds to create complex textures, pads, effects, and more. So that's what we did. We had a team of sound designers take the raw material and create a whole new set of sounds out of them, adding all kinds of processing and layering sounds upon sounds. And so Salu consists of two almost equal halves, the choir and instrument recordings on the one hand and the folder of processed patches on the other. So now I'll keep quiet for a moment and play you some examples of what this process folder has to offer.
So, there we have it. We think you'll agree that this is a beautiful collection of sounds, and we hope that we've captured some of the spirit of the place. Perhaps you hear an unusual peace and warmth in the instruments here. To finish this video, just a short bonus info for those of you who are still with us, you're probably wondering what salu actually means. It's an Estonian word for forest. And because the forest is an integral part of the Arvo Pert Center, it's a perfect metaphor for this collection. Thank you to everyone at the Arvo Pert Center. Thank you to the artists who created this with us, and thank you for watching.